That was kind of weird, but we've got audio. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's me, your friend IQ, and I'm here with a nice little race for you on this lovely little tiny December Spoiler Cave tournament. We've got Fly Eagles Fly versus Ori. This is going to be a good match. Both of these players have been in Ancient Cave tournaments before. So this should be a fun one. We'll be getting going in about 45 seconds, it looks like. I've got the spoiler up, so I'll be giving y'all the goods, the deets on this seed. Please let me know if audio is kind of weird or if anything is uh, kind of wacky. Because there's a lot, a lot going on in Spoiler Cave. Lots of windows. Alright, and it looks like the timer has started, so we'll be going live in just a sec. Okay. Fix that timer real quick. All right, we're starting Saturn Valley. So, for anybody who does not know the lowdown about Spoiler Cave, this is just an ancient cave seed, just a regular ancient cave seed. There's no funny flags or anything weird going on. But the players have access to the spoiler log, the uh, spoiler website that shows all the door transitions, all the boxes. It shows everything you need to know to beat the seed. And Aurelix has already gotten a key item immediately, which he probably scouted out immediately. He's probably going to use that. Or maybe he's not. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I haven't quite looked at the spoiler yet. Um, so there, both of these players have 10 minutes before this race to... to... look at that and formulate their plan. So they've now formulated it, and we'll get to see what they come up with. We had, in our last Spoiler Cave, we had runs that were 25 minutes long. So we could see that here today, right now. We'll find out. Right, let me fix this cropping real quick. Okay, that's better. All right. Let's have a look at the spoiler key, or the spoiler log, and see what there is to see. So we've got multiple sea pendants, it looks like. We've got in the desert on floor 9, we've got a heavy bazooka and a star pendant that is almost for certain been seen by our racers and is going to be picked up on the way, because it's quite late in the in the cave, too. It's near Gygas, quite close. It is two doors away. So they are definitely going to pick those up. Because that'll make, uh, that'll make that really easy. Alright, what else do we got? We've got a C pendant on 9. We've got a Franklin badge on 7. And on 6. We'll see if they go for those. Or he is already out of floor 1. No problem. Moving on. Deciding to go immediately off of... Uh, or go immediately to the second floor, not taking... They must have found no skips. Fly Eagles Fly is still wandering around a little bit. He probably has a plan as well. All right. I got the audio situation. Okay. <laughs> nice song. Home hat. Holmes hat, a couple hats for you. Eagles is killing things for a little bit of early XP, I guess. Trying to navigate through a terrible room. Where is on two? Let me fix that. There we go. Da -da -da. AC, I got stuck on the floor for like two hours of this music. Oh no. Are we buying a ruler? I don't think I've seen that much because our friend Jeff has a ruler in his pocket. 
EX water is nothing interesting. Commercial break in progress. I thought we fixed this. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I apologize. I could have swore that we fixed this problem before. Ugh. Or are you choosing to fight? All right, we're back. Or are you choosing to fight this? Uh, this is pretty sketchy. This low, even if you know it's here, he's is gonna choose to do the BBR. He wants that EXP, but he wants it without Paula dying, and he got it. So this is a big, big package. Might have been routed into what he wanted to do. Might have not. So for these spoiler cave tournaments, you kind of like. You have access to all this information, but 10 minutes really isn't long enough to make a full and complete route most of the time. You can, like, hit your you hit your big points, so you want, like, you need your skips. You're definitely going to be looking for those always. You need your key items are your most important things. You cannot beat the seed without, like, at least one pendant. You need at least one. So you have to at least route that in. With Spoiler Cave, typically you want even more than that because you want to go so fast. You, like the the speed you want to get in this in this kind of mini version of this is has to be the fastest possible. Like we have a Crystal Charm that might have been routed in by Ori that uh, is incredibly useful even now because it'll make Jeff's bottle rockets faster. Gonna make running away easier. Really good item just to have. Even if you like don't have I didn't see any uh, rabbit's foot on the spoiler. And that would be even better, but this'll work for now. He probably he doesn't really even need it. Uh since the heavy bazooka's on that last floor. Let's see what else do we got. Let's look at the bosses here. What do we got? Fly Eagles is still wandering around. I think he's still on floor one. Yeah, he's fine. Big protoplasm groups. Or he's getting e even more EXP out of these big packaged... Uh... <laughs> Man, Paula's getting beat up. Getting even more out of these big package of static spawns that are later in the game and give you more EXP. He's gonna be like around level 20-ish, almost 17. Let's see, bosses. What do we got? So we see it is Thunder and Storm at 8. Let's see what else we got. Evil Manny Manny at six. Pretty tame seed looks like. Where's seven? Seven is Barf. Yeah, this is a very nice seed. Pleasant seed. So another thing they probably are going to be routing in is looking for your your good old. So this spoiler doesn't have the shops in it, which I actually need to get on. I yeah, I figured out how to do it for the spoiler. I need to add it, but. Uh, they're gonna be looking for certain shops like the arms dealers. You probably want to see them because super bombs will make Gygus really cozy. Ori is still on two. Fly is still on one. I'm trying to make sure everything's good here. Ori taking even more package DXP. He's just got a got it all routed out. He wants to get high level quickly and he wants to dive deep. Uh, let's see what kind of skips I might be able to look at here. Oh, there are two Rabbit's Foot. There's a Rabbit's Foot on 7 and a Rabbit's Foot on 5. So 7 has a lot of goodies. Sea Pendants on 8 and 9. Star Pendants on 9. This is a jam-packed seed. Quick. This will be a quick one. Let's, let me have a look at these skips. I can remember where they are. I memorized all this. We got a 4 to 9, 7 to 9. Lots of skips. 2, 7, 1 from 3. 7 to 7 to 9. Lots of 7 to 9s. 4 to 1 to 4, 3 to 9. Not a whole lot of good ones off of floor 2, and Ori is still getting more EXP. up in some cloud area. I don't think he skips. It's hard to... I've forgotten how to navigate this spoiler. I used to be pretty good at it. Yeah, he's... Just... Floor one. 
People are... The teddy bears are falling. Which is no big surprise, considering Ori has fought, like, five things now. <laughs> five big EXPers. Alright. Having a look where all of the arms dealers are. It looks like they're all pretty late as well. So Ori's just looking around too here. Trying to find the way out. Pixie's bracelet is really good for floor two. Wow. That's that's really quite a late drop. Tend to village, that's up top left. I'm probably gonna... That's, those are the big things. Everything I've seen is pretty large. He got the signed banana. So he might be able to take that skip, but I don't remember where that is in the spoiler. He's going to floor three now. This boss is uh, just an ant, yeah. Easy peasy, all those levels paying off immediately. And he's on to floor three. There we go. Looking around, this is probably the important floor where the skip is. Uh, there were several monkey cave skips that went to three. Oh, gotta see who's going to the bathroom. <laughs> Another packaged amount of EXP, but this is like one of my least favorite fights to take in Ancient Cave. It's annoying. He's not weak to freeze. He can kill you. He typically rolls with really high offense. And yeah, you only have Fire Alpha still. And he makes you cry as well, which is great. Okay. Looking in the spoilers some more. I want to find... I don't remember where the museum is. There's this skip on three that goes to six. That's the, uh... That's the... The theater skip that is a freebie. Museum is goes to seven and is on two. He decided not to take the two to seven, uh, even though he had the signed banana. So he must have some other plan, maybe to go here and find some stuff. He doesn't really have enough money. Even with all of those kills, he really doesn't have enough money to, to do anything with it. Like if he wanted to buy a bedillion horns of life or something, he just doesn't have that liquidity, not really. How's Eagles doing? He's in Saturn Valley here. Still hanging out on floor one, looking, finding his way. He's not too far from the boss. It's funny that both lower and upper Saturn Valley are floor one, <laughs> and then the uh, the top near the thing or near the pool is floor two. Ultimate picking up the ultimate bat. Yeah, that's a good pickup. That's worth your money. I didn't even think about that. The X water is also really amazing, especially in vanilla settings. Because Pooh is definitely going to be a person who you uh, who you're going to use a lot of a lot of psychic points on. I haven't, I didn't see the auto Star Master, but I didn't really look very hard. Let's have a look. I don't see one. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a key item. I think it is though. I don't remember. I'm still shaking off all the rust because I haven't looked at the spoiler log in forever. <laughs> Eagles finally find him Frank. He's gonna get to floor two. Oh, 
or he is schmoovin'. Or he is fighting bees. And flies, rather. They look like bees. They're striped. Oh, they're called giant hornets. They're hornets. Incorrect. Alright. Fly those flies on. On to floor two. Still anybody's game here. Uh, Fly Eagle Fly could have a plan to go jump to seven and be ready with everything quick. It's it's up to how things go. Do not want to fight those, but these are pretty weak. He's still only on floor three. This is Franklin six seven. Okay. Yeah, I think Ori's gonna be looking to skip very soon. Three is a big hub. Three to seven, three to eight. He would be under critical chest, and there is not an auto star master, I don't think. So, no big poo plays for this one. But multiple star pendants and heavy bazookas, if they can get to nine, Ori has on, found the skip that I was figuring he would go to. Uh, the freebie that leads to, I think, seven. He's probably taking a moment. When you see runners pause in this format, they definitely are looking at the spoiler log trying to figure stuff out. Because it's kind of a beast to navigate. So he's heading to six here, to four side. Oh no, to pyramid, not four side. And the music is so loud. Okay. I have it turned way down. Eagle's picking up the yogurt dispenser. Not a very useful item for uh, Ancient Cave. Still taking time. Eagles is still getting on his feet here, but with those skips from two to seven, he could take technically take the lead. This is six, I think. For Ori. Yep. Taking a little heal here. Uh, he might just go straight from 6 to 7, because the 6 boss is a joke, too. I think it's Evil Manny Manny. Yes. So, he's already pretty set up, and he could take 7. There are 7 to 9s, I believe. Or he could just straight shot it straight through. It's technically the fastest route to uh, not take a skip from here, because you can just follow the lines straight through, through the... Uh, the best doors. There's a Franklin badge right here in this box that he's getting. Very good routing to get that. That makes Gygus into a joke. Uh, there's no worries at all here. He put it on Paula. Does Paula actually have prey? Find out. Yep, Paula does have prey. This is a terrible fight. I hate fighting coffee. But he's already so beefy that it's totally chill. All those, all those fights paying off here, right in this one. Crack that, great, thanks. Eagles is trying to sell and buy at the same shop that Ori picked up. Uh, smart choice, there's lots of good stuff here. Ori deciding to heal immediately, I would do the same. Uh, Scalding coffee cups, such a terrible enemy. Sorry, has the Franklin badge, uh, an easy to get. Pendants and there's a arms dealer on nine who might have super bombs. I think this is gonna be a pretty cozy seed. We might see Ori leaving this seed in the next ten minutes. 
or getting to Gygus in that amount of time. Oh, backside of Showtime. That's a funny room to find in Spoiler. Imagine you have to route through that. Oh, that diamond, okay. Eagle's taking fights, trying to get EXP, it looks like, so... Maybe he wants it level 8 or something. Fire, or freeze beta. Um, yeah, or he's heading straight to 7, okay. So, this boss is evil Manny Manny. Uh, should be a joke. A freebie. Might have a paralysis, but he might be... He might have, uh, healing gamma. How high his levels are. I don't think you can freeze while in Lily Chambers. You can. Well, it is randomized, right? Yeah, present is my least favorite sprite in the game, I think. I do not like seeing that guy. Uh, even if I know how to dodge them really well after, <laughs> after playing this game for a bedillion hours. Yeah, shortest path is always useful and spoiler. Like when you click, so when you have all the door paths on and stuff, you do you you click a big hub chunk and it like gives you a spaghetti noodle mess of of ways to go. Yeah, they are. They uh, they typically go up and down an amount, I believe. They aren't. Uh, it's not like full randomization. Like, they have a base, and then they get moved. I think that's how it works. You, Chaz would know more. He's He knows all the little details. I think that's how it works, though. So sometimes you'll get... Like, Pokey can be... Or there's certain enemies that can... All their resistances can move around. Like, Pokey can be full of fr uh, freeze resistance pretty often, which is an awful thing to happen on Gygus. But yeah, it is it's random. Gygus and Pokey can have... All the randomization scrambled. The auto fight with no weapons, yeah. <laughs> Not a great look. But all those EXP that I saw freeze uh gamma in there. Ori is very beefy. I mean, I don't know if I would even put it on. Oh, if he didn't. He actually went to the menu and equipped it. That's funny. And spoiler cave, or an ancient cave, rather, you can just equip from that. You have to just go in and say twice. It's not It's not as good as Scramble's little menu thing where you equip with the menu. I like the menu a lot, but... Uh, Eagles is on 7. He is, yes. I figured this would happen, so he's technically ahead currently. I would have looked over there after this Manny Manny fight and been like, oh, he's an Onnet, yeah. Okay. So he's. Let's see what's in Onnet and stuff while uh, Ori does some menuing. So he got that Franklin badge. He's getting some jerky and stuff. Uh, not a whole lot going on here other than that. But he's not far, I think, from. Or he's fighting this guy for a really long time, which means it's probably freeze resistant or has a ton of HP. He has a ton of HP, okay. So he's on 7 now as well. So they are on the same floor. Eagle's finding a skip, but I don't think that goes anywhere. I think that goes 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, yeah, all the songs are also randomized. Each floor has a different song that tells you what floor they're on pretty often. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? There was something really important and I got distracted by music. Oh, skip, skip item. So you can't see shops in the spoiler yet. Hopefully someday you'll be able to. So routing skips for Monkey Cave. So Monkey Cave, if you didn't know, Monkey Cave is a skip. Like all of those doors that they guard are skips between floors. You can go upwards of five floors and uh, five floors down. So. Like, Fly Eagles Fly took the 2 to 7. Um, 
that's like the maximum size of skip. So since you can't see the shops, you don't know what monkey cave skip items you're going to have, which adds an entire... So even if you have the whole spoiler at your disposal, you don't have that detail. So you don't know if you can even take monkey skips. It, it's a whole mess. So like... The spoiler log is both a blessing and a curse, because you can make this cool- I had this happen in the last tournament. You make this cool route, you're like, yeah, and then you just- You just, like, don't get the item you need in seven shops, and then you just have to wing it. <laughs> so, no matter what happens, there's always some problem with this- with Ancient Cave that makes it hard. It's very it's a very cruel randomizer. Eagles is fighting some lips. Getting the XP, so he's finally getting the XP he deserves. That he has worked for. All of his base levels are coming in handy because he doesn't instantly die to everything. Or he's checking shops. Don't buy the monkey. Okay. So let's have a look here. What can I see? Where is boss 7? Boss 7 is on 102, and 95 is where Fly Eagles is, and Ori is a few doors away, it looks like. I know where that is. Yeah, he's about to walk into Onet right now, looks like. And then he'll probably- will he get the second? The two Franklin badges? Uh, good question. Uh, I think they're all in EBM music formats. So if you have an EBM music player, I think it's just on the Ancient Cave GitHub. Let's find out. Let me mute so I can type. That is where they're at. You can download all of those, and uh, it should play in your local EBM music player. Yes, yes, .ebm is in the music rotation for this. That is That was added by a uh, um, good friend, Nirm, friend of the community, and of Ancient Cave. Looks like Eagles are right, back to back to actually commentating. Uh, Eagles is getting a holy frying pan. That's nice to have because it makes auto fighting really fast, which you want. Ori, they're on the exact same screen right now. Tied race. Ori looked like he was dominant, but he is even. He might have one more Franklin badge, but what is that advantage? You know, this is, we're seeing the routing come out here. The routing is very important for for uh, Spoiler Cave. So we'll see where they go from here. See how they handle playing the cave. There might not be any skips from 7 to 9, or if there is, it might be out of their reach. I think it's a monkey cave skip that they just might not have the item for. Uh, that's very possible. Getting like a pizza is very difficult in an ancient cave. <laughs> it requires finding a room, you have to find it in a box, you have to get it as a drop, and none of those are guaranteed. I think some shops can also sell it, uh, but that's pretty rare as well. Seven to nine monkey cave skip is king banana. There you go. Yeah. Uh, do not think that. So the only place to get the king banana, well, there's two places. You can get it from the monkey. Uh, pretty rare to find that room. It's a one tiny little room and a bedillion rooms. Uh, or you can find it in a box, which you have to look in the. It's not in the key items, so you would have to look through every box and. Uh, not great. This fight sucks. I'm sorry to Ori, that he has to fight these dumb UFOs. <laughs> it seems like he's okay, though. He's got a lot of defense on everybody except for, uh, Pooh. And he ran. Cool. This room, or this area late, 
is a it's a pretty big hub and it always has a lot of spawns. <laughs> you really don't want to fight stuff in here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Ori is particularly any more set up than Eagles at all. That's a lot of very angry slugs who are going to do terrible things to you, Eagles. You Yeah, you're not gonna survive this one, I think. This is not not good. These so each of these slugs probably has like four hundred HP and hits for 152, and he does not have any defense. Uh, he's gonna wanna run, probably. Yeah, he didn't kill any of them in one turn. Okay, he killed he killed one of them in one turn. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna be able to get away as well. This is not good. He has no no psychic points on Poo, so he really can't do anything. Okay, he got away. And Ori is at floor seven boss, which I think is Barf. Uh, this should be a pretty simple fight, unless he's a uh, freeze me, in which in which case that would be awkward. But we'll see. I don't think he will be. Okay, semi-immune. Like, 50% immune. Not great. Uh, Ori also has... <laughs> he has DX waters. I think he's feeling a little rushed here. He's not uh, playing all comfy cozy. Yeah, you've got waters. There you go. I guess he was already in the menu. It was just like, oh, I'm just going to send it. It's, it's fine. Uh, yeah, Barf will give Star Storm as well, so that makes sense. I forgot about that. That is a strategy that I have employed before in the past, is getting Star Storm here. And he has the DX Waters, and Pooh actually has pretty decent base psychic points. So this should be a good pickup. Definitely worth taking this, and then from here he'll just rush to 9, probably pick up. He'll pick up the two Star Pendants and the... The heavy bazooka, and then he'll just go to Gygus immediately, is what I expect. Um, he might not even talk to the arms dealer. You always talk to this man here, because he can have bazookas and super bombs and stuff. There they are, the super bombs. Alright, um... He doesn't really have a lot of money and doesn't have a lot of way to get money. Uh, he might be selling some some uh, miscellaneous gear, because you really don't need, like... Pixie's bracelets and all that. It, it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, your goal is to load up on super bombs and get out. He might even sell the ultimate bat. I'd sell it. Sell that charm horn. I guess he doesn't want too many super bombs. He's just saving them all for... He knows that the boss aid is just thunder and storm, and who cares about that guy? So he's just getting enough to... Uh, beat... Gygus. Because he know he's probably going to star storm phase one. We don't need him on Pooh. Eagles is a couple rooms away from the floor 8 boss. He's making his way. Fighting a little bit more than I expect him to. He's still looking for EXP or some sort of EXP or something, I guess. Or uh, else he went the wrong way. Nice run. That was a good run. That was a sketchy fight. Bobbies are orange, so uh, they taste like burnt orange. Tangerine. They're like big, big orange. You know, regular old oranges taste like that. And then, uh, yeah, I think foppies taste like... Like that blend, like the berry blend. 
that it's really heavy on like strawberries and raspberries or something. Raspberry flavored would be good. Another commercial break. Ugh. I get. I am. Um, I don't know if I can actually close this and reset. It's. It's weird because I've done this a lot and I've never had these commercial breaks happen. I'll have to figure out what's going on. Also, shoutouts to the nobody. The nobody in chat who knows what Fobbies or Boring is. That is a, an OG Earthbound lore Starman.net series. You should look it up. Fobbies or Boring. Or Burnt Inch. Or he battling through this, uh. Battling through this floor. Where are you, Sarah? Where are you? Right, looks like Eagles is heading to... Did he go backwards? Did he die and not save? I didn't actually see. I think he died, because he's all the way back at the beginning. I was looking at... I was thinking about... Fobbies are orange in the spoiler cave. So I, I don't think he saved. Uh, it's a long climb back, because he went all the way to 3 and then skipped... Oh no, he went to 2 and skipped, just... So he doesn't have to go that far, it looks like. But Ori is moving, he got his one of his pendants, he'll get the other 1 to 2. He might not even pick up the, the heavy bazooka, but I would. Uh, the desert... The desert is a... On floor 9 is just a terrible place. There are so many spawn plates. They're all randomized. It's a big open area. It's awful. You really don't want to go there if you can avoid it, but when there's a heavy bazooka out there, you probably want to go get it. Hard call. But if Gygus is freezing me, you will suffer without it, probably. I've never seen the star man go up on the ladder like that. That's absolutely screwed up. I absolutely cannot believe. I've never seen that before. <laughs> they were hun. <laughs> I guess it's a tile up there, technically. That's weird. That might be one of the few ladders that's like that. Oh, free super bomb. Okay, thanks, I guess. Are you picking up the butterfly? Not feeling like healing, probably, if he can avoid it. Uh, this must be something he really wants, because uh, he's so strong, he really doesn't need to fight this. I guess Pooh has 135 max HP, which is pretty bad. Man, these ants are still angry at eagles? What? Or are these slugs? They ain't even ants, they're slugs. It's weird. I guess he never beat... Oh, oh, oh rabbit's foot. Okay. Uh, not really necessary. <laughs> not really necessary, but I mean, it's good. It does make running easier. But he should be out of here soon. I think he's on his way. Yeah, this is, uh... Let me see. I just saw this room when I was looking at the spoiler. And <laughs> now I lost it. Oh yeah, this is the 8th boss room. Yep. So yeah, he's on his way to 9. And 9, let's see, 9 is a 9 room floor if you're optimal. So, uh, he'll be at Gygus in the next probably 5 minutes. Depends on how long he lingers. Uh, and Eagles is... I'm not actually sure what floor he's currently on. He's looking- I think he's looking for super bombs or something to kill Gygus. Taking the moment to do that. Uh, good play, honestly. Knowing where your arm stealers are is always good. Uh, and he went and picked that one out, and Ori didn't, so if that had had super bombs, that would have been an interesting play, but... 
It didn't, which sucks. Or he's beating up on this weatherman. Ambitious weatherman. Let's see. So yeah, on floor nine, there's multiple star pendants. Uh, let's see what else there is. Really nice. There's a cloak of kings in the desert as well. It's a lot of goodies, and uh, Ori will probably take all of them because he doesn't probably want to lose. Never predicted it. It's always sunny in summers. Maybe they're a summers resident and we're like, the weather's boring. Oh, we're on floor nine. Here we are. Ah, there's Fulio right here. Excellent. I didn't even see. Oh, nice name. That's that makes sense. Uh, nobody can see that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the double earth pendants. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have even picked them up. A waste of time. The guy beam's good though. He's taking the save. Yeah, that was a stacked throne room. Two earth pendants and a guy beam. Of course, there's a sewer level on floor nine. Great, awesome, and it's required. <laughs> Thanks, game. Eels is gonna get a big package of VXP from these molecules. That'll be nice. I like their name. Science 2.0B. That's good. That's good. Alright, or he's probably moving towards... I think he is moving towards the desert here. That's a skip. That's the skip on to 9 with the hamburgers. I think that's from 7. Or from a 3. One of those two. There's the desert. Alright. Looks like he's going straight up. Uh, these are not the worst enemies that could be in desert. Dinosaurs and fires, you can dodge these. It's the diamonds and the starmen. When there's a bunch of them, it gets really messy. So here we go, here's the star pendant. Now he's heading for the heavy bazooka. Hate the diamonds, but there's only one and there's nothing else with it. That's fine. Ah! That's a lot of EXP. <laughs> Those are worth a, a ton. But don't need it when you are beefed up. Got the heavy bazooka. He's gonna head to Gygus now. Yep, not taking the cloak. Doesn't need it. I like how he took the arrow lizard with the dragon team. That's nice. I didn't notice that until now. And the Final Fantasy VI on Eagles. Uh, if Eagles does play Final Fantasy VI. He speedruns it, I believe. He might play uh, Worlds Collide. I'm pretty sure he plays Worlds Collide. So, if you like Final Fantasy VI content, he's there. All right, Ori. What is he gonna say? Spoiled butts. Spoiled butts. Please don't spoil your butt. That's not unple or that's not pleasant. Weird science. I love it. Weird science. Eagles is looking at the spoiler. Probably tired. Of being on floor six or seven, rather, and ready to leave. That Ori is heading in. No more need to look at the spoiler. Just gotta check your gear. Looks like he's got mini super bombs. He could use another one on Ness. Nice putting the star pendant on him. Uh, Cause Ness, he doesn't have a lot of max psychic points, but he has a, he's very thick. And being thick is important. In this first phase, when you can get smacked around by Pokey, and in the first attack, when you if you get a free or a beta, beta rock, and then you lose somebody, that's really awkward. Especially if you don't have any revive items, which I think he has one. 
And he has healing gamma, but... Or he should just walk through this fight. Honestly, this should be free. Little Arachnid. What's the name of it? Derelict Spider. Versus end. Bitter neighbor. He, he really is bitter. All right, good start. Starting with the the one that doesn't kill your guy. And now it's smooth sailing from here. He has so much resources. So many things. It's frozen stream. Why is the stream frozen? I think this is on Aurelix's end. Oh, we're back. Yeah, Ori has iffy internet, so sometimes this happens. He's definitely frozen. Let me refresh again. Alright. I'm gonna refresh Eagles as well. There we go, now the timers are a little more even. They're, they're actually, I was like 20 seconds behind Eagles. All right, this should be no problem. I didn't actually see if that freeze did damage, but I don't think he even cares. Time to Star Storm. He's gonna life up then Star Storm. Oof. Uh, he's gonna life up again here. No, he's gonna Star Storm. He's going, he's going to get out. Who cares if Jeff is alive if he doesn't have to do any more damage? <laughs> Alright, he's out. That was quick. There was no HP buff. So, in addition to resistances scrambling uh, around, uh, HP values can be dynamically large. You can have a Gygus with like 4,000 HP or something. I've had really long Gygus fights on low resources plenty of times. It's rough. Right. Looks like he's setting up to heal forever, but he's functionally immune to Gai all of Gaius' attacks because he has the Franklin badges and the star pendants. So we should be at, he should be out in the next couple minutes. No problem. Can't yeah, put the brain shock on anyways. I, uh, when I'm this set up, I guess because he has four kids alive, uh, it's not really worth it to brain shock if you're immune to everything, but if you have four kids alive, it's worth it because the thunders have to hit. They hit so often and it wastes time. That's like some really deep, deep dive ancient cave strategies right there. That's stuff nobody should be thinking about unless you're trying to eke out the last bits of time. See, now he has only two kids alive, so like, was it really worth it? Maybe. I don't know. Cup of noodles, that's not life noodles though. Not not useful. Maybe Eagles is still on seven. Yeah. They are tasting. I could go for a cup noodle. Well, I guess I can't because I have pizza. Hold my pizza up to the mic so you can smell it through the mic. Smells like cold pizza because I, I didn't eat it because I was doing this. All right, Eagles is heading to eight. He's ready. Barf, he should be okay. Yeah, and also if you brain shock, he does still th thunder himself, which is even slower than getting thundered. So <laughs> hard. To, it really is hard to say if it's worth it to brain shock or not. If you're immune. I'm sure there's like, I could do like a time analysis on it or something, but I don't. I'm not sure if Eagles really has a good way to kill this guy without poo. Uh, he, uh, is lacking half his damage, and Barf is not a joke. He can kill your people if you're not careful. And Ori's getting out, he's ready.
Hugh's call was absorbed by the darkness. And there we go, that's time. GG. Souls. Spoiled butts, but butts, but but I like the extra BU at the end. Well, butts, 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 butts. GG. That was a, uh, there was some interesting routing differences, and you and Eagles were in the same room with the holding frying pan at the exact same time, so for a little while it was anybody's game. Uh, he took a skip on two that you didn't take. That was pretty free to get through, I think. Uh, which caught him up to you, but you got out, you were kind of like in the lead from then on and from before then, before he took the skip up until then. So, pretty dominant performance. Uh, I liked your routing. Oh, great ads, yeah. I just noticed the ads started rolling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and take our audio over to Fly Eagles. Goodbye. Get this. Get this. There we go. Alright. And how was your... How was your spoiler experience? That... The spoiler being a hindrance more than a help is something I talked on a little bit. Uh, for s it seems like for the vast majority of people, you'll like make this route and then it will just not work out. <laughs> you have to like figure something out even with it. But yeah, I, I think with the amount of stuff that seed had, you probably only would have like added like 15 minutes at most. It would have been a sub almost a sub one. Try to find skips. Yeah. Uh, I always make like a... One of the things I'll do is I'll make a route to get to the floor I want to, and then... Pray that it works out. <laughs> or I'll take... I'll figure out like one leg of it, and then I'll figure it out from there. <laughs> I've done that a lot, where I'll like... Oh, I need to get to six. And then I'll do that, and then I'll go in the spoiler and look for two minutes and try and find something. <laughs> A lot, a lot of the spoiler cave skill is in managing the spoiler. It's a very important skill and something you actually have to practice to be like ultra fast. And even if you are ultra fast at using it, there's no guarantee. Ancient cave is tough. <laughs> even if you have all the info, it's tough. Let's move this over here. There was a lot of enemy spawns in this seed. There was not a lot of rooms that didn't weren't full of hor horrible enemies. <laughs> It was okay in floor 9 at least, but... I said, have you ever seen a Starman go up a, a one of those ladders and get you? I've never seen them teleport to the top of a ladder before. That was very funny. I, uh, I didn't know there was a spot they could stand up there. You, did, you really didn't even have time to like go back up the ladder because you <laughs> were halfway down it when they got you. I thought it was funny.
It's not good. Do not want to be sitting in here and fighting. He didn't find any rabbits. He didn't get any rabbits for the crystal charm. I liked your crystal charm grab. I don't know if that was intentional. Like if you routed that in. But getting that... Getting the crystal charm early was nice. Really nice. Where is this room that he's in? Like here? Oh, he is on eight. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Uh, this is not good. Uh, I, he, so, a part, another part of the spoiler cave is when you get a bad fight and you have to find a heal somewhere in the nexus of a floor. Because there, there is a healer on this floor. Where is it at? Who knows? I sure don't. Gotta go find it. Yeah, we can call that routed in. It was an early, it was a really early crystal charm. It was like floor two. But I never look at those non-essential chests either, so. I look at them if I have still got time at the end of spoiler time, which, or spoiler looking time, which is like, never, so. No money, can't, he there's a healer, but got no money. Thanks, capitalism. Healthcare is not free in EU land. Oh, are we gonna get some Sim Earth action over there? Oh no, we're doing some clue speed runs. Heck yeah. He found it, the heal. Heck yeah. That's huge. And he has a save right there, so he's kind of stable now. He can go through floor 8 pretty comfy here. Time to look at the spoiler, figuring out he's going the wrong way, maybe. I'm not actually sure. I'd have to look. Where he is in depth is one, so he's only 29 rooms from the end of the game. Bum, 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 bum. 
doing some inventory management. Not sure if it's even that important. Looks like we've got ads coming up. But we'll get to watch him, uh... Kill Gygus here in a little while. I think he's definitely on the right route. Or he went through this. Yep, this is the ladder that I was laughing about. And here is a rabbit's foot that would be very useful for him since he's taken a lot of fights. Put that on Ness and run past everything. Super bombs on eight? I don't remember. Getting a little beat up by the mole. It's a classic. The little big mole. Or the ill big mole, rather. There's a rabbit's foot. Okay, all he has to do is go down the ladder, and I think he's there at the boss. Yep, there he goes. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's Thunder and Th this is Thunder and Storm, right? Yeah, in their natural habitat. They're just here. Or the ambitious weatherman, I'm sorry. This was a comfy little seed, really. I really like this one. I would have liked this one in real NGK. I would have been quite happy. I'm telling you, every room in this run, though, had a, b a million, billion, trillion spawns. Look at all of these spawns. Got Colin Mustard. Colonel Mustard. Cracked case. GG. Shooting the regular bottle rocket at him. It didn't even hit. That's funny. Oh no. This is the first time we've had action. We had boss action, rather. Here, I'm just gonna close and reopen it. It's probably gonna break everything, but hey, we're back. Give me a moment. I gotta set it. There's still a commercial break going on. It must have. They must have changed something. That's not it. It must have changed something. With it. Timer one, gotta fix this one over here. It's this. Change it out, there we go, okay. 
Alright. Maybe I should just buy a Twitch Turbo. I might fix it. It's weird that it's only on that stream, though, and it's not on the other one. It's like Thunder and Storm are being real mean. They didn't have really good... They don't have really good... Like, freeze damage. It's pretty mediocre. Okay, he's dead. GG. Moving on to floor 9, where all of the goodies are. Uh, do you guys have audio? Yeah, you do. Good. So, this floor's only nine rooms long, and almost all of the rooms are not very important. Other than... <laughs> other than the desert, but he does have a dead kid. He's not as quite as beefy as Ori was. So we'll see how he deals with these problems, because Ori didn't have to deal with them. Now we have the, the summer of oh, Cozy Tunes. Nice green swirl. Oh, it's a caterpillar, huh? Uh, these guys can kill you. <laughs> yeah. Probably not worth fighting. They have fire, and it does a lot of damage. I think he only has one C pendant. Fires in the in the dining room. Those didn't spawn last time. There we go. Okay, so the desert is one rope away, I believe. It's just down that rope and up the other. Or is making it wet? Lots of rainfall, not a lot of greenhouse. <laughs> I'm gonna commentate. I'm gonna commentate Sam Earth. Big CO2 absorption. Everything goes up. I could just swore this was the right way. For eagles. I don't remember which rope it is. I don't think there's anything in here that's worth his time. Eh, that's funny. That's like... I think that is almost a vanilla... ...combo. Eternal question. The eternal question of where is my revive? I need it. I, I definitely am not going to speedrun Simmerth. But. Could you imagine? Let's take a. Let's take a gander at speedrun.com for the Simmerth. I don't even know if it has a, a page. Sim Earth. Ah, oh, he found the revive. Excellent. Oh no, that's just the bench. Well, that is a heal. Uh, I do believe he has a revive skill, maybe. I'm not actually sure. Ah, no pages found. Yeah, there's no Sim Earth. It is just Ori. It's a riveting, very riveting speedrun. Everybody should learn to run it. I 
think the revive is in. Let's find out. Uh, let's close the spoiler instead. Oop, don't want to go there. Let me see. He's in Brick Road here. See if it's in desert. Ah, it is off the beaten path, off desert. So, oh, he's rich. Nice to find that. This guy might have some horns of life. It's a useless shop. I think we should have told everybody that you can use the clusters option to really help yourself in the spoiler. Uh, Eagles might not actually know. Maybe he does. I don't know. But you can use the clusters checkbox and it'll show you what floor an area is on because it makes these blue squares that you can click on. Like the desert is ranked number 127, uh, which is the 127th room, and then it's cave level 9. It's easy. And then you can see where all the doors go with their little yellow spaghetti lines. Oh, you did a tutorial? Well, there you go. I saw, I saw like, a little bit of the exhibition. I didn't know it was also a tutorial. But it makes sense that it is. But he's in the good room here with all the good stuff. Uh, now he has to navigate the horrible existence that is going through the desert. Talking to the sarcophagus. What's he doing out here in the desert? Be in the pyramid. I mean, he carried him out and just left him. Okay, there's the star he wants, and then he probably wants to have a bazooka. Oh, he's leaving. Leaving immediately, in fact. And then our friend the Squatter Demon, who is the Doomed Teeth. The blank. Poison is not great, but with healing beta you can get rid of it. More useless shops. Sad. There is the arms dealer here that Ori didn't check because he didn't need to. I think this is the way towards the uh, full hill. Maybe not. Taking the heal here. I think Ku has his healing gamma and is dead. Uh, he could probably just go to Gaius without him. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna go. He might be fine. Desert. 
Hate it. Hate this guy too. Okay, we're out of here though. Bye. Bye, Ghost this time, man. There it is, the full heal. I knew it was the way. Uh, now you can just go to Gagas for sure. Take the save, walk to the man. Horns of life! Mmm. Yummy. What a good room. What's this game? I feel you, bro. Hard game. H Cave is really difficult. Alright, here we go. I like the, uh... The Robo Sprites for the FS6 characters. It's cute. Oh no. Oh no. You never want to fight guys in here. This is a bad place. Run. No. No. I give this 10 sads out of 10. It's fine. Okay. It ain't great, but it's fine. Who almost died again? That would have been the worst. Using the chef's special, that's a good item uh, that you never ever see ever from like anybody. I, I believe it heals a ton. Or a full heal. One of those two. 215 HP, it's pretty good for, it's only like 90 bucks. Pretty good in summers. Might as well be a full heal on the rando. You barely have more HP than that. Alright, here we go! The man and his boy. The creature and his sidekick. Kraken Soup is the full heal, that's what it is, yeah. I was- I, for, I forget the, like, details of all the food items that you never see in vanilla because they're, like, irrelevant. So Eagles has no heavy bazooka, uh, not really a lot of super bombs. I didn't actually see if uh, Pokey is immune to freeze. I would not start Storm. I don't trust it. This should be fine. A little painful. Okay, he's not immune, which gives a lot of promise to this run here. Uh, it's time to heal and freeze. Yeah, I got some good Sim Earth action while we watch this fight. A 
Lots of lots of dinos. Lots of squids too. Look at all of them. The sea is full. Of course it had to be poo. You hate it to see it. Uh he had used most of his PP though, so it's like mostly okay. His paralysis resistance might be really high. It should be really unfortunate. Did not work. Yeah, he needs to start wanging on, winging on the bitter neighbor, swinging on him. Shield's gone. Paula's hurt, but I think she just got healed. No, that was not the right heal. Oh no, it was the right heal. I lied. It was a healing or life of alpha, not a beta. I. He's up. Cool. Uh, he does not have... Does not have a shield, so he's gonna go down quick. Magneting already. Good play, honestly. Oof. Oh, max hit roll. Wow, that's so rude. Well, he dodged into death. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you get a lot of PP if you use the Magnet Omega. And not taking the heavy bazooka is hurting. Pokey's just a little bit too tanky. It'll be fine if he can get out of this phase, though, because he pretty much can't die. He gets there. And he's probably pretty close. It didn't take Ori that long to kill him. Not quite. Maybe one or two more of those. Quite. Mm, it's shield turn, my friend. It's probably fine. Waiting on like a smash. Yeah, you did have a bunch of. You were much more geared than flies. Bye, Jeff. Ugh, Gaius is such a jerk. This fight is always stressful. Ooh. Still not dead. That's awful. There it is. Okay. We have a chance. Should be fine, but the damage will be a problem, because eventually it might turn into a prey off. To, like, revive people. Or get PP back. Praying right out the gate. Going for the reflex, maybe? Yeah. I mean, that is a way to kill him.
Oh, sleeping. Look at all these lightnings. He's real dead. There's no saving him. Well. That was a lot of lightnings in a row. If this was a real seed and I did not have the Franklin badge, I would be upset. Upsetty spaghetti. Really doesn't have a lot. damage probably worth bringing poo back just to get those few this doesn't work final phase guy just does not have any PP oh nice smash I <laughs> probably did one damage still that's pretty unfortunate oh man didn't work. This game is so cruel. Oh, we're sleeping again. Great. Got two freeze alphas. Yep. Goodbye, Jeff. Or goodbye, Pooh. Unfortunate. Flex will eventually kill him. The bread roll. Final meal. Oh no. Give it to Paula. It really sucks to get to Gaius like this and just have no resources. It is. This, is it. this situation has happened to me quite a few times. And it never feels good. I think those melees are actually doing damage. Smash hits. Yeah, the Viper. I've used the Viper on your your good word of the Viper's goodness. Oh. Alright. Now there can only be one Reflex, so... There... Nope, not quite. Oh, 
<laughs> the one thunder. YOLO! Didn't kill. Oh man. That would have been so good. Uh, the feeling strange is good here. His own freezes do quite a bit of damage to him. This is what I was hoping he would do. I was I was also hoping he would what, do the lightning. <laughs> oh, he's back to normal now. I'm amazed his unusuals haven't. This is a weird fight. Nobody can kill each other. Come on, kill yourselves. Do something. There we go. Wow. Heck yeah. Really bad RNG, honestly. Uh, really, not a lot of good lightnings that were actually doing the right thing. Oh, nice smash. So yeah, they were doing damage. The smashes were hitting. Yeah, Eagles never gives up. It's tough. It was a tough thing to walk into. With uh, almost no resources. Pooh was really underleveled because he just kept dying and annoying. I hate it when that happens, so. Persevered through all the hardships. Took a pretty good route. I was pretty happy with his routing. That's what I would have done. Would have taken that 2 to 7. Oh my god. Thanks. Thanks, Twitch. Well, on the bright side, you're really not missing much because it's the end of the thing. We've seen all the action now. Oh, it's freaking ads on my other one, too. Well, here we sit. Uh, it looks like Gygus is about to die. I think this is the last turn. Yep, there it is, GG. All of those people. They both stream. Or he streams various things I'm doing dragon quest lately uh, some sim earth apparently and eagles runs a variety of randomizers i think 
So, follow those people. Follow them. GG's. Nice tenacity. You actually, like, beat Gygus through all the hardship and travesty and everything. Uh, there was a heavy bazooka, like, right next to that star pendant in the desert that you probably should have grabbed. That would have, uh... That would have changed the way that Gygus fight went, that's for sure, but... You still got through it. Alright, I know exactly who we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid King Train. It was deep in a run. I don't know if they're gonna keep streaming or not. But, they're in Lost Underworld right now. Or they were. 20 minutes ago. Or, 2 minutes ago, rather. So, that's me. We'll have... I think we're having another match tomorrow at 8. Let's find out when the next match is. So I can send that on. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern is Keeley versus... Chef Goat, who's in chat. Uh, that'll be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. And then on the 11th, we have Sitake, who I'm expecting to do quite well in this, versus Sarah, who I'm expecting to do quite good in this. So, somebody who's going to do quite good in this is going to get out of that match. We'll find out who. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.